Have you found it yet? I'm sorry? What you came here for? Blackmail fodder? Inside stock tips? Something to use against your not so bereft ex fiance? You know, Ned, we really just started spending more quality time apart. Well, I couldn't agree more. When do you leave? And disappoint Edward? After he invited me to live here with the entire family and made sure that I want for nothing. Oh, please. You want for everything. Using people is your bread and butter. Nicholas, I couldn't be happier that you're here. I was just thanking Ned for his family's hospitality. Yes, well, Katie, I'll leave you to your guests. Nicholas. What? What is it? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to stare. It's just that for so long I thought you were gone. And now you're just here. Some place I can visit you. In a Helena-free environment? I know all about your grandmother and the things that she's done. Many of which were hideous. You're being kind. I also know that if it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't be here today. Alive and full of optimism for the life that I've been given back. A life full of seeing you, and for that I am forever grateful. And I would hope that you would feel gratitude towards her too. Catherine, you know I'm thankful that you're alive. But Helena doesn't do anything out of the kindness of her heart because she doesn't have one. Now, you've always told me the truth, Catherine, so tell me this. What did Elena tell you while you were recovering to make you turn against my uncle? Nothing at all. You do believe me, don't you? What's, what's all this? Provisions. After walking me home from school, I realized how cold it was getting, so I thought this stuff might come in handy. I love it when you go all maternal on me. Someone's got to do it, since you won't let your mom. Ow! I don't know how to hurt a guy. Well, thanks for the, uh, the provisions. It'll be great for tonight. It's the next few months I'm worried about. Winter's off season for boxcars and, uh, find some place where I won't freeze to death. Like where? Home? That's funny. Kelly's? Uh, your Aunt Bobby's? Not a chance. Then what's left? Best plan of all. I'm gonna get my own place. You're kidding, really? Where? When? I I don't have that figured out yet. But you know, I'm I'm making pretty good bucks detailing Jason's cars. You know, maybe he'll even kick in for a race. Well, sure. I mean, you're a valuable employee. He's lucky to have you. You think so? I think anybody's lucky to have you. You know what? I am really going to miss this place. Me too. You kind of made it feel like home. Oh, I didn't do all that much. What, are you kidding me? You furnished the whole place. Oh. Here's my uh, easy chair, my TV, <laughs> um, a lamp so I don't stumble in the dark when I raid the fridge. <laughs> all compliments of you. Believe me, without your touch, my being here would have been worth two cents. Hey, anybody home? We're in here. I could use a friendly face. How am I doing? Not so good, Jerry. What are you doing to get yourself out of here? Oh, never mind. Don't answer that. I'm sure I can probably guess. Right now, there's probably an arsenal of lawyers and associates running around raising bail and spin controlling the events that led to getting you arrested in my living room. And damage control is probably taking place at a fevered pitch as we speak. Except for one minor, easily overlooked detail. My little boy. 
How is he? He's confused. He jumps every time the phone rings or someone comes to the door, thinking it's you coming back to straighten things out the way you promised you would. And he's asking me a lot of questions, Jerry, that I can't answer. Can you answer them? For Lucas. And for me. You have every right to be furious with me. I'm so sorry. That's it? Because sorry can't fix this. Oh, God. Everything that I was so afraid of is right here in this room. You want to know who I'm furious with? Me. Because I should have listened to my instincts screaming at me to steer clear of this one. And I never should have invested in another man who could end up failing my son because he's had enough of that with his father. Maybe that's why I tended to overdo it with a Lucas. I wanted to make up for Tony. I wanted to help. Help who? Lucas? Or yourself? Be closer to me. Maybe both. <laughs> yeah, I was attracted to you. I love the time I spent with Lucas. He's a very special little boy. Yes, he is. But he also happens to be very young and impressionable and diabetic. Do you realize that an emotional roller coaster can trigger that condition? If I had the slightest idea that an arrest was going down, I wouldn't have been anywhere near your place. Well, you know, Jerry, that's small consolation because you were. You were in my living room with my son looking on. What am I supposed to tell him? Why don't you just tell the truth? I'm a bad man and they arrested me because I broke the law. This is uh, my friend Elizabeth. Elizabeth is Jason Morgan. We sort of met at the nurse's ball, remember? I should have said hello then. It wasn't a great night for me. Mad nah, me either. I only go because it's important to people I care about. Why did they try to arm twist you into performing? Trust me, it won't happen. <laughs> it's different. Yeah, Jason used to live here. Elizabeth painted it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not as good as the penthouse, but... Uh, well, I won't be there much longer. I've made some changes, Lucky. I wanted to come tell you myself. What kind of changes? I retired. You quit. How? Well, you know, I made an arrangement. That's all you need to know. Well, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's just that everything that I ever knew told me that's impossible. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be okay. So are you. This is your severance pay, okay? Jason, no. there's way too much. It's, 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 it's a bonus for a risk you took. One of the cars you used to wash blew up. And you could have been waxing it while it did. So what happens now? I mean, people know that Lucky used to work for you. Doesn't that mean he's marked or made or something? No, 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 Lucky, it's okay. Um, all Lucky did was detail cars for me. He's not in any danger yeah. from that. So are you going someplace? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to work at the garage behind the recovery room. Mike and I are partners, and you know what? I need somebody in the afternoon. If you want to help me clean up, stock parts, help me when I need it, it's the same as before, 10 bucks an hour. What's Mike going to do? Nothing. In case you don't know from the club, Mike wasn't too crazy about yeah. working. So are you interested? Do you need me? You're just making up a job. No, look, I'm going to hire someone. It might as well be you. Do you mind if I just think about it? Yeah, yeah no, no, take your time. Um, I'm not even moved out of the penthouse yet, and I don't start at the garage for a couple of weeks. All right, thanks. For this, too. You earned it. Nice to meet you. You too. Sorry if I was rude earlier. All right, it's okay. My girlfriend acts the same way about me. It's nice. Marked or made? Oh, I must have sounded so stupid. No, no, he's he's right. It's nice that you worry about me. Thanks. Anytime.
When I would wake in the dark of night, unable to move because of the braces and the medications that were helping me heal, I wanted to scream. Yeah, I remember when I was in the hospital. Couldn't speak. I was uh, delirious and, and, and scared. I didn't know where I was. It was horrible. Then maybe you can understand my gratitude towards your grandmother. On those excruciating nights when I woke up in terror, she was right there. She held my hand, she comforted me. She was dedicated to my recovery. So for you to suggest that she had any ulterior motives, I can tell you that it's simply not true. I was there, I know. You do believe me, don't you? No, I, I, I think that's what you believe. I believe she deceived you somehow. I know that because you wouldn't allow my uncle to take care of you and he was in love with you. I think that's what he tried to convey. The question is whether he was ever really emotionally free to love. Surely you remember how happy you two were. I mean, I saw it. Those feelings are still there. I loved your uncle, Nicholas. And he may have thought that he loved me. But I don't think that there is room for me in his life right now. Okay, what, what does that mean? You know, Nicholas, when I was recovering and I was completely away from Stefan, I could see him for the man that he really is. You know, for as long as I can remember, everything that Stefan has ever done has been for you. And that means that there's no room for you? Not directly. As any loving parent or guardian would want, Stefan wants you to be happy, unconditionally. And that means giving you what you want most in life. Your mother, Laura. <sighs> no, no, you've got it wrong. That's... that's Maybe not... so, but probably not. Stefan is a very secretive man with a hidden history. The motivations for his actions are seldom shared, which makes it difficult for any of us to ever know him. Or understand him. And Stefan isn't the only one with a hidden agenda here. Laura has not been completely truthful with you either. There is something going on here that doesn't quite sit right. How can a woman go from blatant animosity to fighting for her husband's mortal enemy on the stand? It seems to me that Laura had everything to lose, including her marriage and her public display of altruism. I never analyzed it. Try. When Laura would bring my sister over uh, for a visit, my uncle was, he was just cordial. Did he ever leave you alone? He didn't have to. We all got along just fine. Just like one big happy family? Well, maybe my fault was good for something. Your fall was a tragedy for everyone except Helena. Maybe not. In your case, maybe I was out of the picture just long enough for your family to reunite. <sighs> Stefan must be so pleased. He didn't plan any of this, okay? He was wrecked after what happened to you. Now I've upset you. Please, don't let this sour our visit. Everything is going so well for you, Nicholas. Let's focus on that. I'm worried about you. Don't need to. I'm fine. Let me help. You know I'd do anything for you. Nicholas, hi. I... Wow, I had no idea that you were coming over today. You know, this is a really cool coincidence, because I, I have to talk to you about something privately. Well, actually, I, I came over to see Catherine. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to intrude or anything. It's nothing urgent anyway. I, I have some stuff that I have to do, so I'll, I'll, I'll just be on the terrace. All right. Nicholas, I would just feel terrible if I knew that you were burdening yourself worrying over me. Catherine, I care about you a lot. 
I said it would help and I, and I meant it. You already have, by just being here. Good. No, I don't mean to be rude, but it uh, looked like Emily needed to say something to me, so. Of course. Promise that you'll come back and visit soon. Promise. Hey, what's going on? Spying on children now? I think that's it. That's it? What? I just figured out a way to earn what Jason wants to pay me. Tell me. Jason and Mike are opening a business. It's new. There's lots of room for growth, right? So if someone can get in there, help put the place on the map, I say that that pretty much writes their own ticket. Probably so. What's your plan? In a word, computers. Computers? Yeah. Lucky it's a garage. No, no, no. Hear me out, hear me out. Look, I, I, I can get the whole place inventory on the system. Set up a website, start creating a, a whole supply and demand thing. And you, you could help too. Me? Yeah. You, you're, a, you're a talented artist. You could um, design the logo for the shop. And anything else that goes out on the computer. You really think I could do that? Yeah. I'm telling you, once, once I prove myself to them and the bucks start rolling in, they'll, they'll, they'll probably cut me in on the profits. And with this, as a deposit, I, I should be able to find a place of my own to rent. Then let's go find it. There's a real estate office on Laurel Street with lots of for rent ants in the window. Well, let's, let's, let's do go. it. <laughs> So you see that the Jack's empire didn't just magically appear. Bobby, when our family started out, we had nothing, literally. If we were ever going to get to be anything, then we had to get some startup capital somewhere. Look, I'm not proud of the fact that we took it from criminals, but we did. And there's no changing that fact. Ever since, we've been laundering their dirty money. But it doesn't end there. Maybe it should. You know, I, I'm really not sure how much of this I want to hear. No. You need to know everything. And then you can decide what you want to tell Lucas and what you keep to yourself. What if they're listening? Let them. There are some things that you've probably heard about already. Some others you might suspect. And a few that I may regret telling you in the future. But it's best that we get it all out. Well, how about a compromise? Why don't we just limit this to what you've done since you've been in Port Charles? Fair enough. It all began with the attempt on my brother's life at the docks, Gar. No, I did not try to kill my own brother. But I'd heard something was afoot, and I was trying to mix things up a little bit, so I replaced the shooter with a hired assassin who had instructions to wound, not kill, Jason Morgan. There's a fine line between instructions and a bullet gone wild. That line could have been crossed. Bobby, I don't kill people. Look, sometimes I get my hands dirty trying to keep my brothers clean to protect him. It's my self-appointed role in life. Look, I'm not proud of some of the things that have gone down. But when you're trying to juggle so many balls, yeah, a few of them are bound to hit the ground. Like the fire. What fire? The one in the warehouse. The one where I was conveniently positioned to save your son after he'd run inside. I was there because I said it. You were the cause of the fire that could have killed my son? It was meant as a device for the police. In cases of arson, they're allowed to search without a warrant. I thought maybe they could look through some files, they could get something on Morgan and Corinthos. 
No one was supposed to be inside, but sometimes things go wrong. <laughs> sometimes things go wrong? Do you have any idea how ridiculous and how lame that sounds? Look, if you're looking for me to offer you any excuses or justifications, I don't have any. Is there anything else you want to tell me? I could tell you that I'm sorry. It wouldn't be a lie. Are you going to tell Lucas? No. Doesn't he need to hear something? Yeah. The word goodbye, which I expect you to say to him. And after you tell my son goodbye, I'll let you know if and when you're ever going to see him again. If and when? You mean after everything I've told you about me? There's still a chance you can let me back into your life? I honestly don't know. mistaken or did I attend a meeting here where you officially resigned? What's your point? Same one I made that night. Power is addictive and it's hard to give up, but you did, Jason. I don't work for you anymore, which means you don't summon me over here anytime you feel like it. Well, I could have waited at your place. After your last visit, I changed the locks. I can get anywhere I need to. I take care of things any way I have to. You took the information I gave you on the Jaxes and turned it over to the feds. You tell me why. What makes you so yeah, sure it was me? You know, Justice, don't even play games with me, okay? Because I made it clear that the information on the Jaxes was for me to use. It was not to be released. It was a promise I made, Sonny, and a direct order I gave to you. Yeah, well, I got a news flash for you, Jason. If it hadn't been the Jaxes, it would have been you. You are such a suspicious person, Ned. Well, what can I say? You bring out the best in me. Emily was worried about something. Nicholas went out to help, and quite frankly, I thought that there was a serious problem. Nothing like the smell of fresh blood in the morning. You know, if you weren't so busy mistrusting people, you might recognize a genuinely kind gesture when you stumbled upon it. You don't expect me to believe. What happens to Emily actually matters to you, do you? Why won't you believe that I really care about this family, Ned? Including you. <laughs> Come on. Fine, but it's true. For example, I worry that people might take advantage of you now that you're vulnerable. For instance, Jack's former assistant, Miss Ardenowski, who I know came to visit you, probably to ask for money to bail out her ex-boss, using the argument that Brenda would have wanted you to help. Maybe I'm overprotective, but don't you think it's insensitive, considering you're still grieving, too? And it's not really a personal decision anyway, is it? I mean, Jax is an ELQ stockholder, and I'm sure your family wants to regain control of that. That is a dilemma, isn't it? What's up? You seem a little rattled in there. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I just, um, just was thinking about my modeling career. You know, mm -hmm. everything seems to be going so fast. Yeah, well, it's what you want, right? Uh, totally. I, I love it. It's right where I want to be going. There just seems to be some hidden costs that are staring me in the face right now. <laughs> Call it overhead. Oh, that's, that's true with any business, you know. Exactly. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of short on cash right now. Uh, not that my family wouldn't help me out. Of course they would, but... Well, here's the thing. This is... Okay, um... I don't want them to look at me as a child anymore. I don't want them to think that I'm going to come running to them every time that I need something. I want them to realize that I'm mature enough to handle my modeling career by myself. All right, I'll, I'll help you out. Let me loan you some money, all right? Will you? Ooh, yeah. thank you so <laughs> much, Nicholas. Okay. I think that $20,000 should cover it. You're serious. You want $20,000? 
That should cover everything. Emily, what's going on? Forget I asked you anything. I mean, friends shouldn't ask other friends for money anyway, right? Oh, Wait a minute. I mean, if, if there's a problem, I do want to help you. I just don't ask me any questions, okay? What's wrong? Tell me. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, I won't tell anyone, okay? I promise you can trust me. Okay. I'm being blackmailed. Blackmailed by, by whom? For what? Well, remember those photos I took at the bridesmaid photo shoot? Mm-hmm. Somebody uh, sent me this package, and um, there's a picture of my head on somebody else's naked body, and uh, there's a note that says that if I don't give them $20,000 that they're going to put it on the internet. Um, there's no return address, and there's no postage. <laughs> I don't know who's doing it. Let me see it. No, you can't. Well, it's not really you, right? Even so, I can't let you see it. Okay. I thought about asking the family, but they would never let me model again. And then I, I thought about asking Jason, but I'm afraid of what he would do to the person if he found out who was doing this. If I don't pay, my career is going to be over before it even starts. Okay. You did the right thing by telling me. So you'll loan me the money? No. Come on, Ned. Indulge me. I know enough about Rico's statutes for my relationship with Damien to know that Jax is in some very big trouble. Won't the government take everything he owns, legitimate or not? Well, as a matter of fact, all of the Jax assets have been frozen. And if Jax himself is convicted, his 10% of ELQ holdings will go on the block for sale. Really? You can tell that hamster that lives upstairs that he can stop spinning your wheel. Because you are never going to get your grubby hands on that stock. Our family has first option, which I fully plan to execute. If you're worried about outsiders, maybe you should just have a look and see what your little Alexis is up to. <laughs> Give it a rest. I could share some things about Stefan's sister. Not interested. We'll see. Somehow, Taggart got a hold of proof that I killed Damien Smith. He made me an offer. I get off in exchange for you. Somebody had to tumble, Jason. I had the file on the Jacks family. I used it as an offering to Taggart, and he took it. Don't bother to thank me. I cleaned out the safe. This went down after that. I had plenty of time to sell you out before that. And frankly, I don't like the implications. You know what? I don't care, Justice, because the Jacks file was in the safe. And your point And is... my point is that you had another one hidden somewhere, which means you were getting information all the time I told you not to, and that's a problem. I, I, I hope I'm not interrupting your work. No, 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 not at all. You know, that's the thing about writing. You can pick it back up anytime you want. Why don't you sit down? I want to hear what happened. Oh, thanks. Well, you won't be surprised to know this is about Jerry. Mm -hmm. Oh, Felicia, he's trouble. Yeah, you know, I found myself going to him and... Well, instead of reading him the riot act about coming into my life and disrupting it, not to mention Lucas's, I... I, I found that I was completely sympathetic to him. Even after he... He confided to me about certain questionable activities that he's taken part in. You see? And instead of being completely turned off to him, I, my heart is aching for him. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I mean, given everything that I now know about Jerry and the effect that his arrest has had on Lucas, I mean, you would think I would be able to look at him with the same contempt as I do Tony, but instead I... 
fight for. Have you told Jerry how you feel? Oh, God, no. At least not yet. None of which is helping Lucas. <sighs> Felicia, what do I do? There are law against age discrimination. Not when you're under 18 and not legally responsible for any leash you have. But that is so unfair. You need a place to live. I just wish I could stay here. I don't. You freezed it up. No, but you know, I'm kind of used to this place. I know. But we'll find another one and we'll make it even better, I promise. Hey, change is a good thing. <laughs> you're right. There's something out there for me. I don't know what it is, but I'm going after it. I'll make it happen. That's the spirit. <laughs> as soon as my teeth stop chattering. <laughs> Whoa. What are you doing? Well, I've got to paint you a heater. It's getting cold in here. You know, it's gonna take a while for... I can't go to the police. I'll die of embarrassment. Yeah, well, you, you can't pay these people either because they'll only ask for more. What should I do? You're not going to do anything. At least not alone. Let me help you get to the bottom of this, okay? Going against orders? Keeping secret files, using them without permission. Now, let me tell you something. If you were working for Marino and did any one of those things and lived more than a day, I'd be impressed. I made no deals with Marino. Good, because he's not going to look out for you the way I did. Love the loyalty. Of course, you might have mentioned you were walking away from the organization after I destroyed my reputation to work for you. I'm tired of being the last to know. I'm tired of having authority and being reprimanded when I use it. And I'm especially tired of being cut out of critical decisions that affect my life. Because I've been to that show, and I walked out in the middle of it. I paid you well. Yeah. And I left you clean. Appreciate it. What you do now is up to you, Justice, but understand something. The way I ran the business is not how Marino or anyone else will. You walk away now, and you're safe. You try to leave later, and they won't let you. You do not have what you need to buy your freedom. What'd you pay? A territory. And a promise that anyone comes near me or anyone I love, they will regret it. You can't back a promise like that. It's funny, I survived very well without your big brother act before. I can damn well get along without it now. You're Lucas's mother. You can help him understand some of what's going on. I don't know how when I don't understand it myself. Maybe you should stop analyzing it and start feeling it. Oh, when I do that, it scares me. Why? Because when I think about Jerry, I feel so good about him. Well, then there you go. But I shouldn't. He's an official criminal right now. Bobby, we have room in our life to care for lots of different people. And there is no one right way to love. Now, that's something I know you want Lucas to believe, right? Of course I do. And if I remember right, you told me you didn't want this thing with Jerry to be permanent. And I think that's a good way to start off with Lucas. You just tell him, I don't know when Jerry's coming back or if he comes back. Because people come in and out of our lives all the time. And that's, that can be very painful. But that's because we care about him and we miss them. But that's just part of life. But then, you know, there's the other part of life. You're his mother, and you're not going to walk out on him. You're going to always be there, forever and forever. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, 
once he starts feeling stronger about this, then you can start making decisions about letting Jerry back into your life. Assuming he's not behind bars for the next 20 years. Yeah. But what if he does get out and he shows up at your doorstep tomorrow, then what? Don't say it. Feel it. Because it's all going to come out when it's supposed to come out. Mm. Well, one thing I know. I'm falling for Jerry Jackson. Looks like a long way down. Why not find out if he wants to catch you? on the next General Hospital. Oh, my God. What? What's wrong? I spent the whole night here and I didn't call home. Grum's gonna kill me. But I do know what it's like to be used for your money. I'm not gonna let whoever's using you get away with it. It is my duty to caution you not to leave the county. This is Kevin Newman. And Lisa McCree. Tomorrow, two storms, Hurricane George and the political storm in Washington. Plus, the man behind the music, our new family member, David Sanborn, tomorrow on Good Morning America.